The flat T is one of the most commonly used T sounds in American English. It's the sound that you hear in words like city or better. It's also what makes the difference between saying something like how to get out of the building and how to get out of the building. If you want to sound more natural in American English, then this flap T practice is for you. In my very first video here on YouTube, I talked about what the flap T is, where to find it, and how to pronounce the flap T in words and sentences. In today's video, we'll practice the flap T by imitating spoken English using Dwight from The Office as an example. So let's dive in. But before we do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button if you like what you learned today. First, we'll start with the clip from The Office. Dwight uses the flap T six different times. The first challenge is for you to listen closely and see if you catch all six uses of the flap T in this scene. Did you shout fire, causing a panic? Yes, I shouted fire. I shouted many things. I also shouted instructions on how to get out of the building. How many did you catch? Chances are you may have noticed shouted, which Dwight says three times. But the extra challenging flap tees are within the phrase how to get out of. How to get out of. In this phrase, the flap T appears between the words that are linked together. Listen again to hear those quick D sounds and how to get out of. Yes, I shouted fire. I shouted many things. I also shouted instructions on how to get out of the building. On how to get out of the building. This is a great scene to imitate because it starts with the basic flap T example, shouted, and then ends in some complex flap T's that appear from reducing and linking the phrase how to get out of to how to get out of. We'll cover each one in depth. Let's start with shouted. It has a flap T because it's between two vowel sounds, an ow and a schwa. It will help if you pause on the vowel ow. Shall, shall. Now add the quick did ending. Shouted, shouted, shouted. Try it out. Shouted, shouted, shouted. If pronouncing the flap T in the word shouted is difficult for you, I encourage you to just stop here and focus on practicing the flap T in words by themselves. You can check out my original video, or you can check the link in the description below to see more words to practice the flap T. Now let's look at its placement in the sentences Dwight uses. He says, yes, I shouted fire. Try it out yourself, focusing again on the stressed vowels. Yes, I shouted fire shouted fire. Remember that in English, we like to end words on vowels if we can and start words with consonants, which is why we pull the S from yes to I. Yes, I. Yes, I. Try to match the rhythm. Yes, I shouted fire. Yes, I shouted fire. Yes, I shouted fire. Next, Dwight says, I shouted many things. Again, he is stressing shall and flapping the unstressed T. I shouted many things. I shouted many things. Try it out, making sure to focus on the stressed vowels shall and meh. I shouted many things. I shouted many things. I shouted many things. I shouted many things. Lastly, Dwight says, I also shouted instructions. This one is pretty cool because there's an extra flap T in here that I didn't mention before. We see the flap T right here in shouted, but we also have a flap D here at the end of the same word. Just an FYI, the flap T and the flap D are pronounced exactly the same with the same flapping tongue movement. You can hear this in the example of these two words. Betting, betting. One is spelled with a T, one with a D, but both have that same flapping D sound. Betting, betting. You can also hear this in words like ladder, ladder, and padding, padding. You can hear the flap D in this example because we link shouted with the first syllable of instructions. So it sounds like shouted in, shouted in. Try it out. Shouted in, shouted instructions. Shouted instructions. Shouted instructions. If you're curious about what else is going on here, I'm using the gliding consonant Y to link the I and the also together. I also. I also. 
This linking practice will help you as we link all the words in the next section. But first, let's review all three examples here. Yes, I shouted fire. I shouted many things. I also shouted instructions. Okay, now just a warning. This last part is the most challenging because it uses the flat T in its most challenging context, between words with multiple words linked together. If you try to pronounce this at a normal pace too fast, then chances are you're going to end up frustrated. So give yourself a lot of patience and slow down the video as much as you need before moving on. Remember that the focus is not speed, but accuracy and getting your tongue used to those transitions between words. The first thing I need to mention here is all the linking that's happening, which is what is causing all these flap T's in the first place. We almost always link the phrase how to together to sound like the reduction how to, how to. The flap T is again between two vowel sounds, how to. Maybe just practice this phrase by itself or with a few more words like how to play poker, how to, how to play poker. Just this one phrase, how to, is a great one to learn for natural everyday English. You could say things like how to sing, how to dance, or how to practice the American accent. Now let's look at these other two flap T's. Get out of. The best way to practice these flap T's is to pause on the vowels that precede them and use the flap T to link to the next word. In this case, get and dow. Get out of. Get out of, get out of, get out of the building. Get out of the, get out of the, get out of the building. Once you've got that down, try to add the first linked phrase, how to, how to get out of, how to get out of. Really take your time with this one, repeating as slowly and as often as you need. How to get out of, how to get out of. How to get out of the building. I also shouted instructions on how to get out of the building. On how to get out of the building. Now try the whole sentence, imitating Dwight's tone if you can as well. I also shouted instructions on how to get out of the building. Just practicing the flap T's and word linking in that last phrase is a fantastic way to imitate spoken English because it will force your brain to think like a native speaker. If you can get used to using flap T's not only within words but between words, then your accent will sound much more naturally American, your rhythm will improve, and chances are you'll be better understood by others. Let me know what you liked about the video in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. As always, best wishes and good luck practicing your American accent.